Ed Cunningham Award is sponsored by the Ford Motor Company, and it's for the best international magazine reporting in print or online. And the winners are Matthew Akins and Sebastino Tomata for the online magazine Matter. The judges said Aiken's vivid characters offer a truly fresh window into the Syrian conflict, enriched by Tomata's quiet photographs. Matt, a Shell Fellow at the Nation Institute, and Sabastino are both here to accept the award. The citation is to Patrick Raiden Keith for the hunt for El Chapo in the New Yorker magazine. Thank you. It's, it's an honor to be here. Um, Thanks, everyone. This is a, a room full of people who know that behind every good story stands a great fixer. And so Seva and I want to shout out to our comrade, Salam Rezek, who got us in and out of Aleppo safely uh, on what proved to be a much more difficult story than we had anticipated. Once we were back in, in Turkey, Salam's parting words to us were, you're like brothers to us now, and when you go back to Syria, don't call me. <laughs> We'd also like to thank our editor, Mike Benoit, and Matter for taking a chance and spending a lot of money on a risky story. Some of you might be wondering what the heck medium slash matter is, and uh, I'm not exactly sure myself. It's a, Medium is a new tech company, and Matter is its in-house online magazine. In any case, Mike, who had come from GQ and is now at the Times Magazine, went for a story about Syrian characters, the incredible uh, rescuers of Aleppo's civil defense that other traditional publications had already passed on. They had rejected my pitch. Um, and you've probably heard the refrain, you need to find an American character to tell this story. Well, there aren't any Americans in the Syrian civil defense. And, you know, in fairness, these are commercial realities that we all have to deal with, but we aren't, I hope, helpless victims of our audience. And in fact, those audiences often surprise us, as I think they did with their response to this story. Moreover, we all need to ask ourselves whether the vastly different value given in press coverage to Western over non-Western lives, not only reflects a drastic global inequality of power and violence, but also reproduces it. Does it reproduce that equality by heightening our recognition of certain kinds of violence against a Western life or a Christian life at the expense of our recognition of other kinds of violence against non-Western or Muslim lives? This is, I think, an especially apt question to ask about our response to ISIS and the wider violence in Iraq and Syria, where, to our collective shame, the war is entering its fifth year and the brave members of Aleppo's civil defense continue to risk their lives so that others might live. Thank you. <laughs> 